Hello YouTubers, it's PD1 Piranha here again, and we're back for more Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. And in this part, I already took out all the trainers over here, because trust me, there was a crap ton of trainers. So I took them out, and we're just going to surf across the huge-ass sea over here. It's not going to be like the biggest water portion in any Pokemon game I've ever played. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I said, I already took out all the trainers, so uh, I believe we're just going to take on the next gym in this episode. Here's, you want like some proof that there's a lot of trainers? Look, remember what level these two Pokemon were in my last part? <laughs> Look at what level they are now, seriously. Great place to train if you think you're a little lower or under leveled or whatever you want to call it. That house right there down there, you can trade in uh, shards for different types of stones. So, always helpful if you are uh, needed to evolve something. And here's Moss Deep City. You can find a lot of Whalmer and Sharpedo out here, so uh, if you're looking for one of them, here's the place to do it. Uh, I already healed off screen, so no need for that. I know Steven lives in one of these houses. Yep, here it is. What? The fuck is my place? Why wouldn't it be up in your house with those shells? Oh, you said to take some. I don't die. I'm pretty tough as my Pokemon. And we got the HMO8. That's uh, almost the last one. Just one more to go after this. I'm gonna be gonna surf. This sounds like tough as the water. This time she's looking across the deep water and What's after this before? When you want to come back to the time again, don't do this, don't be comfortable with this level, so... Yep, he just, uh, stays in his house for now. Uh, not much else to do in this town, really. There's a dude in there that'll tell you what type of Pokeblocks your Pokemon likes. Uh, the Mart... Still never been... Still never been able to figure out the, uh, point of this place right here. A locked door, and this guy says he likes to watch people battle. Uh, still don't really know the point of that place, but whatever. Um, I wonder if there's any like items around here. Yep, here's something. Netball. Fair enough. Off screen, I also went to the uh, Safari Zone, and I taught my Shift Tree uh, Solar Beam, just because you know it's a good move for him to have. Because um, you have to go to the Safari Zone to find the TM. Uh, it's just like right at the very top of Area 3, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. You just gotta surf across. But it actually did take me a while, because I uh, had to go back and switch bikes. I accidentally had the wrong bike. Uh, this rock right here, because you can't really do anything with it. But up here, up these little stairs, is like a space station. You can get a sunstone in there if you want to. You're not a space station, a freaking... No, this is, uh, this is Russian space station. This is not gas station, but I mean, it's like a... I don't know what you call it, where they, you know, launch rockets off of. It's basically that, and, um... Each time a shuttle launches, like, it'll, they'll tell you how many successful launches they have, and what that actually is, is the, uh, number of weeks since you made your save file. Now, there's a lot of rumors going around about that place, or at least there were when this game was new, that uh, once they got to 100 launches, you could do all kinds of crazy stuff, like uh, go to the moon and see uh, Deoxys and Jirachi. And one of my friends actually tried to tell me that the Deoxys he got for me was from there, even though I know damn well it wasn't. <laughs> so yeah, just a lot of rumors, just like the Mew truck in uh, red, blue, and yellow. So um. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about that. So let's get this gym underway. See, I've been playing um, Mega Man and Base recently on the uh, GBA. It's actually a pretty fun game, but it is really hard. I will say that right now. It's a pretty damn tough game. Uh, you know, I've been I played as Base uh, just to see how he played like, and it was actually pretty fun. Like, you know, he can double jump and uh, all that good stuff. It's a pretty interesting character, so yeah, that game is pretty hard, like I was saying, so I may do an LP of it when I, uh, you know, get all the levels down pretty well, but in my first try through, I was just doing terrible. <laughs> I don't really need grudge, it just, um, deletes, like, PP of, uh, the last move they use if you faint. Alright. 
you just hit these buttons basically and you gotta hit all of them to turn the little uh, arrows the way you need to face. I'm pretty sure most of the trainers in here are required anyway, so I will fight them. So the other thing I wanted to mention, uh, my friend whose name is also Nate, aka Rune Lab Productions, uh, the one I talked about in one of my Mega Man X videos, and uh, oh crap, now I can't hurt him because he just used roleplay on me. Go ahead and swap out for that on. Anyways, uh, me and him are going to be doing a uh, sort of like a co-op let's play of, wait for it, Halo Reach. Yeah, the most overrated thing ever, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, even though that game is hella overrated, it's actually pretty fun. I um, actually do enjoy playing it quite a bit. So uh, we'll be doing an LP of that on Legendary. And just to, you know, play through the game and also show off the different glitches and easter eggs you can do and whatnot, what have you. But uh, yeah, go check out his channel, it's Rune Lab Productions. Uh, I'll put like a link probably in the description or something like that. And the way I'll be able to do that is because my friend Craig, aka Hello Call Me Craig, uh, I'll actually link him too, uh, sent me some money so I can buy a capture card, which is great. I'm always happy if someone sends me money, you know? So uh, Craig, if you're watching this, thanks a lot for that. And um, go check out his, he only has one video right now, because uh, he's kind of new to YouTube, so he didn't you know, get that really many views. So. Uh, you know, hit his channel up, check out the video he's got, you know, maybe give him like some comments or what have you, and uh, the video he has I was actually going to talk about is him doing a solo run of Kromer Axie Invincible on Borderlands, uh, which is like the hardest boss in the game, so um, let's go check that out. He's actually pretty good at it. He um, had like this really good strategy with the siren, and uh, yeah. So I just like you to go check out um, that vid. And I guess that's really it. But anyway, since I am getting that capture card now, thanks to his money, you can expect to see uh, you know me doing games like Bioshock One and Two, uh, Borderlands, maybe Left 4 Dead. 1 and 2, um, probably Gears of War 1, 2, maybe 3 when it comes out, because I just love the Gears of War, probably like my favorite shooter games, and her name was Samantha, which is a very awesome name, most of you already know why that's an awesome name, and I'll just leave it at that. Anyways, uh, yeah, there's that, uh, Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and Brotherhood, um, and, you know, the... All three of the Banjo, well, the Banjo games I have anyway, 1, 2, er, Kazooie, Tooie, and Nuts and Bolts, I have all three of those, so I can do those on the Xbox, and plenty more. So, uh, really expands the, uh, library of games like an LP, you know? I'm especially happy to be able to do, uh, Bioshock, because I really love that game. It's like one of my uh, all-time favorites as well. Kind of tied with Gears for my uh, favorite shooter game. It has an awesome story and what have you. But most of you probably already know about that game. Probably have seen an LP of it. Or played it yourself. Who knows? Speaking of which, uh, Bioshock Infinite, it's coming out, uh, I think sometime this year, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Looks like a pretty, I, I know a lot of people, uh, say, you know, it's not good because it's like a different story, like, uh, ah, dang it, that was unfortunate. I forgot what they call it whenever, like, the stories each tell a different, like, each thing tells a different story, but, uh, just because it's going to be like that, everyone's thinking it sucks or whatever, I think it'll actually be pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and heal Volpix since she's so close to level 1 up. But yeah, 
This uh, gym leader, like I was talking about, is probably one of the easiest gym leaders. Like, it can be kind of trouble for you if you, uh, like if you're a little under leveled. But uh, if you're, you know, around the same level, maybe even a little bit lower, you should, you know, do all right. Not really much else to say about it. They just use uh, Lunatone and Soul Rock. Only double battle gym leader I know of. I don't even think there was one of those in uh, the fourth generation, because I believe uh, double battling was introduced in this one, actually. Got two level ups there, nice. Dabra. I'll go ahead and send her out for the EXP. But yeah, um, let's go check out those two people I mentioned. Uh, Hello, Call Me Craig and Rune Lab Productions. Uh, some of my really good friends. And just look forward to the uh, vids we're going to be doing together later this uh, this year. This 2011. Alright, another level up. Got a lot of level ups this uh, video as well. Very good. Good. And, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up while I'm, uh, you know, able to heal a uh, kite and battle on. And, I think we're high level enough. Let's go ahead and get our last evolution we'll ever see in this LP. <laughs> what would happen if you press B in a stone evolution? Probably wouldn't work. But yeah, we're getting uh, Nine Tails, pretty awesome Pokemon. It's um, even though it's main like highest status special defense, it's still pretty good. I mean, uh, Datai used it in one of his LPs. Um, his Pokemon. It was either XD or Colosseum, I can't remember. I think it was Colosseum. But yeah, he used it in uh, one of those. And I believe I have to go this way next. Yeah, thought so. Let's see. Where do I, oh, I think I know where to go from here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's... Yeah. I'm just going to press that button. Not twice, <laughs> only once. And fight this dude who wants to see our talent, apparently. Hope that's not a euphemism for some sort of private part. Or else that would feel very, uh, very, very violated right now, actually. I uh, probably might need to use a, like, an ether or something. But, we're not going to be using Kite in the actual gym battles. I think we'll be alright with what we have left. Because there's only like one more trainer after this guy from what I remember. Before the gym leader, that is. So we got Kite a decent amount of EXP in here. See, Kite can just take these special hits like a boss, because she's a uh, great special defense. Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to talk about, this uh, song I found, uh, it was like a parody of, um, I can't think of the name of the song, but it, it's the one where he goes, I'm a smoker, I'm a joker, I'm a midnight toker, but it's like a, it was made by, uh, like the people that do Retsu Prey, and, uh, it's really funny as though the channel it's on is, uh, called Inner Logic, so that's another thing you can probably check out, just it was really funny. I probably need to heal. Actually, yeah, I do. I mean, I grew a super potion? Yeah, I do. But yeah, it's a really funny uh, parody of this song, and the doo doo sings it's actually pretty good at it, so uh, another thing to check out if you ever wanted to. I believe you go here from where I was last. Or do you? I think. Used here. Oh, yeah. I know where to go now. Alright, over here. This puzzle right here is in a lot of the Pokemon games, including uh, Blue, or Gary's Gym, however you want to say his name, from uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. And I actually skipped that last trainer, but that's okay. 
and um, Giovanni in uh, red, blue, and yellow in the remakes. So let's go ahead and get our party ready for this. Well, let's do this. <laughs> Were you surprised? <laughs> Were you surprised? There are two Jumiers. There are two Jumiers. We're twins. We're twins. We don't need to talk. We don't. We, we can return. I don't know. I was thinking. All our minds. This combination of ours. Can you beat it? We well, have to be a pretty bad Pokemon trainer not to, considering you're using two Rock and Psychic types. Now, Solar Rock usually on the first turn uses Solar Beam, and that can actually work to my advantage. I mean, not Solar Beam, Sunny Day. It worked to my advantage because I can use uh, Sunny or can use Solar Beam rather. Uh, so I'll open up with a Feint Attack, I guess, on the uh, on that, and then just hit the, both of them with a the Surf at the same time because they usually use a uh, Sunny Day whenever you have a Water type out. That and because they can use Flamethrower as well. Get their White Screen up a little bit. Yeah, see, I told you. I'll see it'll probably backfire on them. He's probably gonna heal next turn, so I'm just gonna use that as sort of a free attack, if you will. Hit the Soul Rock and then just use yet another should probably use muddy water. I learned muddy water off screen, which is kinda like surf, but it can also lower accuracy, so it's a great move to have on a swamper, and it's also a signature move. So uh definitely Happy that I learned that. <laughs> nice missed. And that should take down the. Uh, oh, nice critical. That should take down Soul Rock. I was kind of afraid that move wouldn't hit both Pokemon, but it actually works exactly like Surf, except it's better because it lowers accuracy. See, this is why this gym leader is such a joke. Just so easy. Because it uses uh, Solar Beam. I mean, I can say Solar Beam it uses Sunny Day and screws itself over with that. So, see, look, didn't even take a freaking single hit there. Most pathetic gym leader ever. <laughs> and I was only one level higher, too, just to make things even funnier. What? Our combination was shattered. I can't be helped. You fall into a recognition. Take this. And this is one of my favorite, um,. Like non damaging moves, if you will. Uh, the TM they give you that is TM04. Calm Mind, I believe. Yeah, it is perfect for Slinky Pokemon. Actually, my shiny um, Espeon that I use on my team actually has that. So, with an extremely easy gym leader taken care of in no time flat, I'm gonna call this a video. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Pokemon Ruby when we dive and we get our last team member and we finally find out what the hell Team uh, Magma's up to. So I'll see you guys later.